I recognize your fragrance, hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit, ooh, and I know your taste is a little bit, ooh, high maintenance, ooh, everybody else basic, you live life on an everyday basis, with poetic justice, poetic justice, if I told you that I'm loud. Monday I know I look very it's giving you just wake up yeah because I just wake up um so today I am going to wash my hair guys I know I've been talking about this forever but I actually didn't wash it today like I promise 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 and I didn't vlog it because I was in between my eyes I was like should I record for a video for TikTok and Instagram or should I vlog? And I feel like because I keep talking about my hair and I keep saying every minute it was, I can take out the braids, I can take out the braids, I can take out the braids, I can take out the braids for like a good maybe two or three weeks. I keep trying to get these braids out. And then it was, I didn't wash my hair, I didn't wash my hair, I didn't wash my hair. <laughs> so at this point, I just feel like I owe y'all the video since I just been talking about it for so long. So I'm gonna record, I'm gonna vlog the process of washing my hair, doing the deep treatment or the deep condition, and we're gonna do a twist out. So I'm actually gonna go downstairs right now. If y'all keep seeing me looking this way, looking outside because I have the window right here open in the bathroom. But um I am going to um go downstairs right now, get some coffee. Cause I know it's not like I have a frog in my throat, right? Because I eat nothing, I had no coffee, nothing. So we're gonna get some coffee, we're gonna make some breakfast. I actually think I just kind of want a veggie burger. I'm feeling very, very veggie burger-ish right now. So we're gonna make a veggie burger quick. And then we're gonna get into the hay. I have some other stuff that I have to do later today. I'm gonna do off camera. Don't really want to speak on it right now because yeah. I'm excited, I'm very excited, but I don't want to put it out there yet, even though, honestly, by the time y'all see this video, the process of what I actually gonna be dealing with gonna be over and I probably gonna already talk about it, but still, for right now, for right now, I ain't ready yet. We are gonna wait until probably Wednesday or so to, yeah. Anyways, um, I feel like there was something else I wanted to say and it just cannot gone for me. I really feel like it was something else I wanted to say. Anyways, guys, I can't remember right now. So let's go downstairs and get into breakfast.
happy Tuesday. Guys, I am back on the J-O-B after, wow. We had the whole out last week remote. Yeah. Almost, almost two weeks, almost. This Thursday, what I make two weeks not being in the office. Um, but yeah, I am about to make my coffee, pack my bag, and get on these ACL streets. So I made my pathways yesterday, guys. I swear we're recording. When I look back at the clip, I like, how come the clip is me putting the stuff in the fridge? I press start when I was supposed to press stop. Yeah. So that did not get recorded. But if you've been around, you know that I make these pathways. Um, three of them because I go in the office three days a week. So it has in granola, almonds, trilogy, and the fruit on top. And then I just have to pull one of the yogurts out of the fridge. Um, I think I have enough time to put some rice on, but I'm not gonna carry rice today. Um, I had just put green beans in my bowl because that's all there was a lot of when I cooked on Sunday so Daniel just made more chicken yesterday so I got to put some in my bowl and then I also have potato salad from Sunday so I think I'm gonna buy some meatballs tonight. I don't know, I just have a taste for barbecue meatballs. So I think I'm gonna buy some when I come home from work um, to go with the white rice. Alright y'all, I'm about to see if I could take this garbage out. Oh, my hair is itching me and I don't understand because I washed my hair like two weeks ago. And when I tell her I had dandruff and just itching me like, what the hell? Yeah. Um... I want to carry up this garbage and finish off this rice and then um, head to work. I think maybe this afternoon if I finish work early, I might go Trader Joe's to get some creamer and planting chips and then um, stop to get a meatballs oh actually i might just get meatballs on trader joe's so i don't have to stop three times but yeah guys if anything i'll see y'all later after work hey guys happy today's tuesday um i just coming on really quick i'm gonna probably vlog a little bit later as y'all know tuesdays is gymnastics day so we're gonna catch some clips of the girls um in class at gymnastics today but i wanted to come on really quick to show you guys this is um the twist out so i basically kept everything in overnight um went under the dryer like i said last night and then i just put on my bonnet to go to sleep 
this morning i went to the hair store real quick like i literally just come back to get some more um what do you call this thing edge control because i need to like fix the edges on the front and i did not have enough left in what i had like this is ridiculous because what is this like i don't even know why why i have this like what am i trying to accomplish with this is beyond me but anyways guys got the edge control and if anybody have any suggestions on edge control as of right now this is one of my favorites but to be honest i haven't really used anything outside of this in a while i've been using this for a long time so if anybody have any suggestions on edge control that holds really well on natural hair and does not leave all our whitey residue then drop a comment let me know because yeah um so yeah guys i just wanted y'all to see this and i bought to actually take them out so i wanted y'all to see what the curls are looking like oh my god y'all see that y'all see that the the um the rods did what they were supposed to do y'all see that the rods did what it was supposed to do. Okay. Something up here, tangle. Ooh. Something here, tangle. Okay guys, this is how it came out. So as y'all could see, I was like separating out each twist as I unraveled it. I, I separated them out. Now, I, I ain't too crazy about this because I think, one, my hair is really thick, right? So I feel like because of the shape on my head, my head shape long, I probably should have put a, um, like a thing here. One of the triangles in the middle so that hair wouldn't have been so flat so we would have had some volume right here cut hair flat and then out hair wide and then my face long so honestly it making me look like i got a bald patch right here and i don't like it i ain't even gonna cap i don't like it but i just come on to show y'all the calls i gonna try to fix this guys cut this giving me like this flatness hair because and then the shape on my head it just is not i feel like i look like one of them damn cartoon characters and I can't bring the name yet. But yeah, um, this is how the curls looking. I'm going to put some of this, the air dry spray, the Miel air dry spray that I used last night or the air dry styling lotion in it. Um, and then I'm going to fix the edges with the edge control and i can try to figure this out guys because this this hair killing my whole twist out vibe right now Hey guys. hey guys so we just Four. finished well the girls just finished gymnastics and i like right now y'all should know that we're gonna go to your pie could literally see the sign today right there your oh, pie and get us some ice cream i mean like i got four scoops of four cookies. scoops Yo, okay this is actually heavy. i wish i had my phone to vlog but i actually just threw the phone in the car because we had to leave paris in the car and it was drizzling so i just threw my phone in the car and run across the street quick but i wish i had my phone to vlog because when they said they wanted four scoops the lady was like we don't do four scoops i was like okay she was like well we could do two and two i was like however you need to charge it it's fine because they were like they want four scoops so i hope them back said eat all that damn ice cream. That's all I said. I'm gonna eat it before we get home. That's all I say. Okay? Okay. Um, so yeah, the two of them get 
for school i want i want him to see how much guys all of this i seen this i'm almost done all of this let me see your scalp yeah Kelly, don't eat a good little bit of horns four scoops hey y'all and blue soda like how you got me to understand guys i'm blued out because I'm i have turn a blue down okay so how about to say oh look at paris pp say hi you hey mama okay why my ass vibrating what oh it's on Proof that I just threw the phone in the car. I end up sitting on a damn phone. But anyways, guys, today I did not get the famous strawberry raspberry combination. I got butter pecan. So That's let's. My first time, this is my first time getting butter pecan. And again, I know how to judge stuff based on how we're looking, right? So if I if 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 like in a case like this where they have like pans compared to the other ones and i see and like okay this one have less compared to the other ones i mean more people eating this one so i gonna gravitate towards that so this one actually had is it the salted caramel was the least and then this one was second right yeah salted caramel were almost like i don't even think you could have got a scoop out of the salted caramel and then this one was second so i was like let me try the butter sure. pecan because recently y'all know I've been feeling the butter pecan cream so like let me try the butter pecan ice cream so let's see mm. well damn <laughs> mm -mm. when it's so good you got that it wow Mm-hmm. The pecans are pecan in. I can bathe in this, bro. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. This is good. I think Ari would like this. I think Ari would like this. Mm-hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Anyways, yeah. We bought a good 45 to 50 minutes away from home. And it's raining, so I can using a charger i don't know how okay. it's raining and it's supposed to be summer i don't know where you get this concept that it don't rain in the summer like rain is is specific to a season yep like yeah. it ain't rain in any season Can you oh, i know so she ain't say nothing she move on this you got dismissed anyways yeah see y'all when we get home kelly and leah why are you eating for dinner um, ice cream Hmm. That is not a pill. Absolutely not. Oh. <laughs> Cacao, <laughs> with the car going in my ice cream. Let me um oh, remove this. Why eat it for dinner, guys? Wings and fries. Okay, Kaka, what are you gonna eat wings and fries too? Cause I eat no wings for the day. I had noodles, right? Yes. Yeah. Um hey, on Friday, can we get um wings stuff? We got wings up at the house, love. But no, not wings up. I don't have wings. We definitely have wings up at the house. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, definitely. Um, I right, them wings. There was. Mm. Oh, can I get Chipotle? Mm. Can we get Chipotle on Friday? So I don't want me cook on Friday. No. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, I am going home to make a shrimp salad. I feel. Ooh, oh. I feel like salad. I feel like salad. Wait, so, um, see y'all when we we'll reach Kanye's. Okay, guys, back home. And I know I said I was going to make a shrimp salad, but then I come in the door with a Trader Joe's bag. And she had meatballs, and she was like, she going to make them now. So I was like, what well, I cooking for if you ain't cook? So we have the meatballs, and I kind of excited yeah. because I probably had one or two things from Trader Joe's that I really didn't like. Like I kind of excited to try the meatballs. She was vlogging and she showed you guys um 
you know the unboxing or the the cheddar girls haul and i heard when she said the meatballs are talky so they're not they're talky balls i guess basically they're not meatballs so i said to try them because recently most of the stuff that we've been trying from trader joe's have really been hit really really good so i really excited to try that but yeah guys i know that y'all could see that my hair is in one very much so very much so so yeah when i did the on twist and i know like i showed it to you guys it was just too much in my face and anybody who know me know i don't like hair in my face like at all i don't like hair in my face which is the whole reason why i just do my little triangle situation instead of just doing twists all over because i don't like hair in my face but i have so much damn hair that even with this the hair still coming forward and it was just it just be too much plus i didn't really like the fact that hair was looking flat so i just say f it and i was just like ah, oh, my hair one which kind of defeats the purpose, but if I don't like it, me wearing it. So yeah, six and one. All right, guys. I know I put hair in the shower in the background and see the steam. So I want to take a shower. And tonight I'm actually going to try to, well, not try to. I'm going to start the process of going through. Oh, as I think about it, I'm just getting stressed out. I can start the process of going through um Nova Kids to start looking for them kids clothes for the July haul or uh, type situation. Um and I probably cause it'll really be a process guys like I'd gotta go through see like what I like and because it's a two of them I have to make sure the outfit's coordinated. So that's what I'm about to do tonight once i finish bathing so honestly i keep saying so like i don't know why i keep saying that but anyway <laughs> um i don't think i'm gonna vlog again tonight so if anything today's tuesday i'll probably see you guys tomorrow okay bye Alright guys, so let me, I, yeah, I probably saw what I picked up in the store, but I got plants and chips. We got four bags. Cause yeah, even I'm chewing the beans in the plants and chips. Ah, uh, yo, I went crazy with the creamers. I'm planting chips, oh, I'm not trying to One. <laughs> Two. Three, four, five, four, whoa, 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 five, wow. six. And I will go and get more, but then I start watching the expiration date. And I was like, okay, Ariana, it's like 10 minutes from my job. I could always get more. And then I got these turkey meatballs. So. Three packs, and then I just got some avocado. Can I believe that this costs $40? $40. It's probably good. But yeah, guys. Let's do the. Too much? Six small cream oils. It is six. It says six small cream oil. Did you three from Poland? No, it's supposed to be a dollar from Poland. Are you sure? Hey guys, happy hump day, guys. Yeah. Um, I have a lot. I actually, like, before I start the camera, I actually were contemplating whether or not to vlog today because i just feel like i have a lot to do and sometimes like i said before the vlogging the kind of slow me down because i have to have the camera every step that i take every move i make everything i do i gotta be walking with the camera turning it on putting the settings right so it'll be a lot instead of just getting into what i have to do but 
but i know you guys want to see the things that are happening what we doing what we got going on so i was like you know what let me just let's let's, let's just start the camera okay so today and i apologize guys in advance if my thoughts kind of all over the place because one me had my coffee yet and i in a little bit of a mood i trying to get myself together to vlog and not show my mood in the vlog but yeah i just like i just had a whole situation with leah because like i already tell her i had a lot to do i come downstairs and she want me to make this big breakfast okay cool mama come downstairs and sit down in a chair and went in her phone i like hello hi you asking me for big breakfast you hearing me saying i have a lot to do which ain't that part is on me because i did not plan my day out properly i take full accountability for that but it's big breakfast that you want yeah you 10 you need to be in the kitchen you need to be in the kitchen so i just had like a whole situation because i was like you going over there in the chair you sitting down on a phone that i paying for and i in the kitchen but to make you a big breakfast it's giving am i jeffrey is my name Jeffrey? So I, I a little, a little about that, cause yeah, I just had to like have a whole like, conversation with her, and then that kind of just throw off my vibe because of course I get irritated and annoyed because I like I need you to take initiative. I need you to like come on, like everything just can't be on mommy, mommy, mommy all the time, like. But anyways, guys, if you are a mom, if you have teenagers, teenagers, this is how it is. Like you, it is very much in the stage of getting them into the habit of these are the things you can do. So it's like half of me at night and half of me is like give her some grace because she's still learning and you still have to teach her. But it's still like that shit. Anyways, we about to, she hear me cussing and all. She hear me cussing, so now she gone to pour with dishes. Watch her. Anyways, guys, we have dishes here to put on this. So before we get into anything, we're going to go ahead and pour with the dishes. I have something to do on the computer. Um, That should take me maybe about 30 minutes. And I, <clears throat> I need to finish up starting out the um outfit pieces for the fashion nova um july order for the kids the account manager actually emailed me yesterday and she told me i'm gonna show y'all the email because i actually put it up in my whatsapp stories and i had it up in my instagram story as well so if you follow me on instagram you probably already saw it or if you um if you are a contact of mine on whatsapp you probably saw it there as well but this is the message that was sent guys so it says for just in case i take it off too quick it says hi honey you are on fire with all the content that went live i truly always look forward to your post when you're ready go ahead and submit a new proposal so she's waiting on the proposal because she replied back i replied back and i said thank you sending it this week and then she replied back and she said okay just let me know when you send it so i can go ahead and approve it so she's actually waiting for the proposal so i want to hurry up and get that done at least by friday but like i told you guys yesterday it's a process so i need to go through the process and coordinate everything and then um go to them sharing um link and place the order so yeah guys that's on the agenda for today the um nova kids order um i have to run out to the post office to pick up two packages so um yeah what i hear me talking about this brand that well actually two brands reach out to the kids within the last i want maybe about three weeks um about collaborations one of them was willing to pay them the other one was not they were not doing paid collaborations but they still wanted to go ahead and send them something so um those are the two packages i'm going to the post office to pick up because one the one that's paying them they they wanted is two pieces of content they have to do for them and one of them is actually due um friday today is the 10th right yeah, today's the 10th of July. It's due Friday. So I want to pick up the order today 
go through everything and kind of look at the requirements for the post because they did have some requirements as far as like hashtags and different things i want to like get my headspace right in terms of what i need to do for the content that needs to be created for that brand and then we're gonna go ahead and create the content tomorrow so i think that's pretty much it based on what i can remember hold on let me check the to-do list because i know the head don't be remembering everything hold on one second there. That's pretty much it aside from after the train line, me and Leia content info. Um, but really and truly the content is already there. It's not like I have to go hunting for it or researching. The content is already there because as I'm scrolling through Instagram, I always saving content info. So it's there. I just need to sit on with her and decide what three or four pieces we want to record tomorrow and that's that's basically it. i told y'all everything else so we're gonna go ahead and pack away these dishes get into breakfast and hopefully try to get done everything that is on the agenda to get done today are you i don't know i don't know i don't know because it's late i don't I, I shame to even say what time it is like yeah it's late i really don't know how i can get out of this do but yeah i'm going to be optimistic i can get it done okay guys so honestly this, this didn't take too long i ain't even on cap this didn't take long at all but let me show you guys everything how everything came out all right so this is the scrambled egg let me scramble egg the omelette for me and cali we're gonna share this and we have our turkey bacon don't mind the bun then we have <laughs> the tater tarts. They came out a little bit brown because they were fried in all oil, but they yeah, actually they taste good. So yeah. And then pancakes. And then these are Leah's scrambled eggs. White. Scrambled egg whites with a lot of seasoning, as y'all could see. Six seasonings. I ain't eating right now. I have to have my coffee first and I want to wash up a little bit of this shit is. So I have my egg whites right here because I don't like the yellow part. And I'm going to take some mini pancakes. They're actually kind of mini. Look at them. I love my pancakes brown like that. Okay, so two mini pancakes. And now probably just like I want a crispy one. Some bacon. And then I'm just going to take four tater tots because I don't want it to be too much food. And now, time to put on my syrup and stuff on my eggs. I mean, on my, um, what's it called? Pancakes, yeah. Nope, oh, that's good. So you guys, I'm gonna use some of this pearl milling. That's not what it was at first, but anyways, this. And then, um, whipped cream, some whipped cream, and I'm just gonna melt some Nutella in a bowl and put it on my pancake. Okay, yeah, so I told y'all it was a full day, right? So, actually, I'm also um, doing some laundry, washing sheets. So, I had me and Leia bed sheets washing. Putting those in the dryer along with some towels from when I washed my hair the other day. Okay guys, I am back from post office and Walmart. Let me show y'all real quick what I got from Walmart. So I got a fabuloso for downstairs. I'm just go going to go ahead and put this under here. This is where we keep all of the cleaning stuff for downstairs under the kitchen sink. I got Probably some blue poppies. She said she wanted these. You're welcome. Thank you. I got the 
crusties sweet cream pancake mix so yeah i saw this morning that i used the last of it so i went ahead and i got another one i don't know if it's just the walmart that we have here by us but they do like this family size um bag and i see it in the other flavor which is just i think the original buttermilk um oh i have like dry skin hanging off my lip yeah so the original um buttermilk which is the blue one same brand and they have it in the family size and i was contemplating if to get our one or this one just because it's more value in that one or more in that one um but at the end of the day the sweet cream really do hit different so yeah i really hoping that they have this in the family size and that this walmart get it soon because this one right here or oh, i know how america is it could really just be a strategy where they probably know people like this one so instead of doing it in the value size they're gonna do it in the smaller size because you're gonna have to buy more which means you're spending more i know how america is so anyways yeah we got the goods i got milk ran out of that last night as well so this stained haircut is going straight in the inside first I got strawberry milk. Kids been on strawberry milk recently, so I got them this. I got some agave because mine is almost finished. Got the um and nearly say Aunt Jemima. Paul Milling Company. I I know the vibes, right? I know the vibes. Paul Milling Company, the butter rich. Um are you i draw in a blank pancake syrup got mayo ari wanted mustard she likes the great value honey honey dijon mustard and apparently everybody else like it because it had every other flavor of mustard in there except the honey dijon mustard like the you could have seen where it was supposed to be like the tag and everything but the shelf the area empty nada not happening negative so i will go and get her just the regular honey mustard but then i will like it have a difference between honey dijon mustard and honey mustard and if you are mustard person you know because dijon mustard just hits different it just hits different like the dijon it'll be dijon -ing. yes so i didn't get it i didn't get it because we have mustard so I got um, a bag of boneless chicken wings. Chicken breast, chicken breast, chicken breast. Are you? Too much happening in the brain. Then I got a bag of drumsticks as well. Breast and drumsticks gonna always be all go to unless we're doing something special. But I remember from the other day, I was looking outside for something and I know that I used some of the chicken breast probably only have one or two left in the bag and i think you have some chicken legs and we bought that chicken cleaning life like the chicken legs they require too much so i don't really know when them gonna get cooked but i went to and i buy like i say the or like y'all saw the drumsticks and the chicken breast because those are easy go-to's chicken breast for like salads and then the drumsticks you could fry them we could bake them so yeah Leia wanted these um seed ayo I, I really need to make it a point to take my child to asia because when i tell ayo Leia, like everything asian when it comes to cuisine and eating and food the child like egg roll she like noodles she like fried rice she like she like what what i think called bow pow whatever the hell it call got strawberries then i got the chobani um peach cobbler and the strawberry cheesecake. Currently, these are my top two faves. 
um i think i have one of each outside and we don't have a whole lot of space i didn't really overdo it we really just got one each for now and we ran out of tuna fish i think we have one big 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 can and that's it so i got six of these i personally prefer the water i don't like the tuna in oil i prefer the tuna in water so i got six of those and then i got some turkey bacon and some butter ball oven roasted turkey breast this is the fresh sliced or fresh cut from the deli area so as y'all know we pretty much stop buying the pre-packaged ones that you get out of the fridge and we've been doing the fresh the freshly sliced um from the deli area i wanted the i think it's prima prima della brand i like that brand but they didn't have any apparently everybody likes that brand because they didn't have any anything talky at all i like actually they had like a it's like weird flavors like cajun i think they had a cajun talky breast and then a tomato something breast in the prima deli or the prima della sorry brand so the only thing they had that was just straight oven roasted was the butter ball brand so that's what we went ahead and got and that's it guys and i really looking around because i trying to figure out where the 70 dollars that i just spent is i really like i i i don't know if it's just me but i ain't, I ain't seeing it i ain't seeing it i spent actually it was like 65 let me not cap for like 65 but anyways gonna put away these things and then i'm going to get me a little snacky stack and um i'm gonna start out the nova kids order or at least start to get the pieces together like i was telling you guys yesterday and earlier this morning and content yep me and layer content we have to figure out four pieces of content that we want to record tomorrow and that's pretty much it i still think i'm forgetting something but anyway on the to-do list anyways guys so i can power these groceries and then i can get to what i have to get done and i'm not sure if i vlog i might show y'all some clips of me scrolling through fashion nova um and the pieces that i select in um but if not then oh wait wait wait, wait. one more thing guys one more thing so i actually got the packages that i went <laughs> that i went to the post office for and hold on let me see this in the right light. so we got the packages so this is the package from the is i think it's everden brand make sure back here ain't showing no details everden brand i think it's a skincare brand so this is a brand that reached out to the girls they wanted to do a collaboration but they were not doing paid collaborations so i was like um well we don't do unpaid collaborations at this time so they said they still wanted to send them something so that's what this package is and then let me turn the camera so you could see this this is the package from the other brand, which is um, Fashion Angels. I love the stickers on the box, super cute. And I'm kind of excited to see what's in here, even though it's items that we had to select. It's different when you're seeing things on, in picture versus seeing it in person. So once I finish, um, once I finish pack up with these groceries, before I get into the Fashion Nova stuff, I actually gonna let the girls unbox this and we'll record that. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, we have the package. Yeah, we're gonna open the small one first. Yeah, yeah, open the Yeah, we're gonna open this one first. Two, one, go. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. 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 Yes. O
Y'all, so the brand is Fashion Angels. Okay, Leia and Callie, you girls are, make the cutest content. Thank you. Um, <laughs> we love your page. We hope you love your Fashion Angels items, and we are we are having the best uh, <laughs> and are having the best summer. My dick, my dyslexic reading. Sorry. Um, the Tell Your Story Summer Challenge will be posted on the Fashion Angels IG account on 712. Look out for it to post your summer challenge reel. P.S. You can give your followers 15% off um, using code CaliCousins15. Hey guys, today is what today is Lee? Thursday. Thursday. Thursday the 11th. Today is the 11th? Yeah, the 11th. Today is Thursday the 11th and we are on our way to the doctor's office. Leah is going to get her 10 year checkup done. So we're on our way to the doctor's office and then we are going to go to Walmart. Again, it's my second time going to Walmart in 24 hours, which is wild because I did not streamline what i wanted to cook yesterday i really went to walmart yesterday because we ran out of milk and i mean we have kids right so milk is like a essential item in our household and then they had other stuff on the list i was like let me just pick up these things one time since they're already here on the list um and i didn't think about what i was going to cook today normally i do that between not today sorry tomorrow normally i do that between oh okay that's how you feel just on your indicator like smack in the middle of okay cool that's what we're doing all right so yeah guys um what i was saying i didn't think about why i wanted to cook um Normally, I do that between Wednesday and Thursday. So, this tongue here, that make my ass itch because. Okay, here it is. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I'll try and get my parents. But I was saying that I didn't think about what I wanted to cook um, yesterday. So, I decided to make flatbreads. So, I'm gonna make a chicken flatbread and a shrimp flatbread. So I have to go back to Walmart to get the flatbread, to get some mozzarella cheese, Your destination is some right. shrimp, because I think we only have like a half a bag of a small um, bag of shrimp, and spinach, because I'm going to put spinach on the shrimp flatbread. So I'm going to run back to Walmart really quick just to get those four items actually it's more than that i think i have a couple other things that get added to the list yesterday like we ran out of jasmine rice yesterday and then i think it had a couple other things so i'll just pick up whatever on the list and then we are going back home to do these kids content that they have to do for the brand that y'all saw the unboxing for yesterday so i should have honestly already done the content but I didn't do the content yet because I was waiting on the payment from the brand. I am very, very, very adamant in this season about making sure that these kids are compensated for their work. Because like I was telling you guys, it's a lot of work. It's the two of them and a lot of times it has been a struggle with getting them to focus, getting them to pay attention, getting them coordinated. Cause sometimes it, like when they're doing dances or certain movements, one moving this way, one moving that way, like it'll be a lot. So we are actually no longer, and I've said this before, Arias has talked about this as well. We're no longer doing any collaborations or partnerships in exchange for products, which is crazy as I say in that because I, another brand actually reached out to them this morning. Um, and they were like, Hey, we want to work with you guys. We're going to send you guys. Um, you check, check the DMs. I don't know the, I don't know the brand off the top of my head. It's another brand I'm familiar with. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm in a brand that i'm familiar with but when i checked their page they had like a hundred and some a hundred and something thousand 
um followers they were selling like tutus like tutu pieces like stuff like that so they were like um they wanted to send them two tutus in exchange for content and i had to unfortunately decline the offer because they were not willing to pay they said their first collaboration or their first partnership with any new um you know person they're partnering with or influencer or content creator they're partnering with is always in exchange for product and then after that it's paid for me unfortunately that does that just does not work again just because it's a lot of work so we had to turn down that one as well but um say all that to say that i was waiting on the brand to send the payment and i didn't want to be like i'm money hungry or anything like that so i was impressing them or following up but after i realized today is thursday content supposed to get dropped tomorrow but we ain't received our deposit yet i followed up today come to find out the accounting or finance department never processed the payment so they just processed the payment today and told us that we should have the payment within the next 24 to 48 hours so we will see how that goes i'm gonna go ahead and let them create the content just because at the end of the day i have it in writing that there's a promise to pay so um i'm gonna go ahead and create the content and that is what we're gonna do when we go back home so yeah it's 4 20 now layer appointment is in literally 10 minutes so we got Okay guys, we are done at the doctor's office. It went really well. This water is disgusting. It's hot. It's hot, that's why. <laughs> so everything went really well. She had to get um pricked to check her iron. So she's like it's huffing good. her hot in. Oh no, but, I, I mean think it's right part of the process. No, but I everything was bad because I was wait, really wait, wait, wait. Feeling my mom. We um <laughs> Everything went really well. All her vitals, everything, her physical examination, everything. Doctor was like, she's healthy. Yeah. Um, everything looking on the up and up. So, um, yeah, she's she's good. And we will be back next year for her checkup. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to remember what else. That's. That's basically it. Um, the doctor was really nice. I will say that. Very okay. nice. And it's crazy because when I called initially, so as you all know, this is a new um, doctor's office because we so recently moved. So, it, like, because they finish work, so it, like people picking up people from work. Because this is our oh, corporate oh. area. Yeah. Um, right on the Bondi Road Southwest. She was really 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 nice In very friendly um, one of the things i will say for me personally whenever i'm looking for doctors i want my doctors to look like me because if y'all ever if y'all yeah if y'all have ever seen any of the vlogs from previous times y'all would see that i have had not the best experiences with doctors that did not look like me i didn't feel like they were taking their time like they genuinely cared it felt rushed and i vlogged about my last experience with a doctor who did not look like me and from there i was like never again so whenever i do my research i always make sure my doctors look like me and this doctor was very friendly she was super sweet super nice very interactive she asked what we were um, doing for summer and yeah. i told her she yeah. was like hope y'all have fun and it's crazy because when i had initially called the office she was not the doctor that i wanted 
but the doctor I wanted, her calendar was not open yet. And because this is Leah's 10 year checkup, and we literally on the tail part of 10 years, so um, because Leah about to be 11 in September, so I was like, okay, let me just. I ain't waiting for you to open up your your um your calendar. I wanted to get an appointment done before she goes back to school. So I just went with the next um doctor. I did my research though to make sure again it was somebody that looked like me. Um and yeah, she ended up being really nice. For all you know, she probably would have been or maybe is more pleasant and more friendly than the other doctor. So I'd just be trusting the process now because I wholeheartedly believe that God can give us everything we need as we need it. So for all you know, that other doctor probably get blocked for a reason. But like I said, this experience was really good. So um definitely looking forward to going back to her um if anything else comes up or you know just for her her visit next year. Oh wait, what am I doing? Okay. Um Dr. Johnson. Oh Amira. Amira Johnson. Oh, oh. I think Amira. That's pretty. Then use the right lane to turn left on the Georgia 138 East, Georgia 20 So yeah. We are on our way to where I'm at right now. Leah was trying to tell y'all. When I was vlogging earlier, I don't know if y'all noticed, she was saying I'm in the back and now she's saying I'm in the front. So she just said I'm in the back when she vexed with me. So she was vexed with me because I power wrapping her ass. Or when Kelly's back there and I just want to be back there and like wash my clothes. She was vexed with me. When it's me and her, she just be up in the front riding shotgun. She was vexed with me because I power wrapping her ass before we left the house. Because Leah and Kelly want to stay up all night, sleep all day. Granted, that from Monday, from Monday, today's Thursday. From Monday, I told Leah she have a doctor's appointment at four thirty on Thursday. I Yesterday, I reminded her she chose, she chose to stay up late, sleeping today. I still took it upon myself, and I went in her bedroom like a little after one. I said, Leah, yeah, I need you to wake up at least by two. So you could get yourself together, bed, brush your teeth, the whole nine. Get your, get your food, everything, so that we could leave the house at four to get to the doctor's office in time for the appointment. We did come and talk. It was after two on time, but that was because I had to put wrap my ass. So, huh. after two o'clock, this child's still upstairs. I call out to her, wake up. Because I was sitting down by the sink on my phone call out to her wake her up okay cool she wake up she tell me she go in bed okay cool after two so we're making good time because i didn't bed the night before and i was supposed to when i realize it after three and my child still ain't come downstairs i like okay i call no call no call no she can't hear me i yeah, call I out she finally um hear me and she answer she come down she come by the step Leah have on a shirt and a pants her hair ain't fit, no jewelry, nothing. She ain't eat yet. And I like, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, I about to go brush my teeth. You about to go brush your teeth. Right. Use the right lane to turn left of the Georgia one. You about to go brush your teeth. So are you I don't piss because first of all, I don't tell this child when she wake up, first thing you need to do is brush your teeth. First thing you need to do is brush your teeth. It's like I don't be talking and like it'll go in one and come out the next because how I have already told you when you wake up in the morning first thing you do brush your teeth so the fact that she had done bed and had, had on her clothes and she come in and telling me only now she brushing her teeth I would done piss then the second thing about it is that it was about oh, about 3 13 yeah about 3 13 so you wake up it's been a whole hour and a half and for an hour and a half you try and tell me that all you do is bathe your skin and put on a shirt and a pants right. Right for an hour and, and a half an hour and a half and that's all you get done yeah because my shower was like 30 minutes okay are you the jenny sandy jasmine everything in me come out everything all that whole combination i put a wrap in her ass because i was like you don't strip on this. You don't have no concept of time. And I feel like every time I... I wouldn't necessarily sit in a rush. But every time we have a time constraint. Where it's like, okay, we try and get out the house by a certain time. Or we try and move I'm not going with time by a certain time. This child is act like she don't have no concept of time. 
she let her like you were you were still Leah. We got 15 minutes. We got 15 minutes, and Leah is still moving. One today, one tomorrow. No sense of urgency. No regard for the fact that you try and rush and hard ass to get out the house. No regard. She is just doing her thing, moving at her own pace and her own beat. And today, I just I had enough. I flipped the hell out. All right, guys. So we reach Rama. We're gonna get those couple of items quickly and head back home because there's a part of this video that I really want them to do outside. So we really need to have ass because the Sunday start to set like around eight. So because the sun yeah. will still be up at nine. Um. Oh, can we get the bubble? If they have it. Yes. So yeah. See y'all in a little bit. She brought her dress, and this is my first time seeing it. And if I want to see, oh my god! Ready? Yeah. We are unzipping. Yes. Oh, oh you look at the details. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. oh, oh! I look at that! Yes. <laughs> that is she's cute. Whoa. She has cut out. She has cut out oh, from the side. So and then the little stains, we'll put her on. We'll put oh her on. my Daniel! Daniel! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> I love that Daniel. Daniel! Daniel, turn around! Turn around! Turn around! Okay. Let's Guys! I don't know Kitty Game Body Days. Engage in some adult stuff. The bride. Adult stuff. <laughs> Brides shot first. And this is our pre celebration with how we're going to be in Miami in two weeks. Period. Yes. So she didn't get a little oh extra. Gosh, a little extra under. Yes. Yeah. We're just doing our liver ups right now. Make it clear. <laughs> our liver ups. Yeah. <laughs> It's not cute when a bride is too messed up, you know? To dance into the ball! Yeah. We are shouting to... Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> wow. Yeah! We are shouting to our Miami trip. Yes. We shot into good vibes. Mm -hmm. We shot into... Love. Bliss, love, prosperity, abundance, all the things. Because minion number yes. one, two, one, two, Four. three. You're number three. Cassie Mari is not a minion. Hold on, we gotta make sure we get this thing together. Why is he not minion? Because me and Dimari is only two weeks apart. Me and Dimari are the first. So minion number one is Kia. Then you is number two actually, and you number three. I yeah, thought yeah, you were saying that you is a minion too, so minion no, one. No, 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 no. Is everybody come two. after She's the sweet. the 
the you know Whatever the do. first the word minion number so, two minion number two second is the best yes! all right no two is my number so two weeks out from miami minion number two minion two weeks number two two weeks out what else two double everything because double yeah. everything is yeah. just right click, click. Yeah. Guys, we are done with the pool and we left from by Kitty's mom in law's pool because our pool was actually closed. So now we are at this Indian restaurant that I've been wanting to try. So let's see what it's about. How the hell do you want like Indian style food or like? They have cheese, naan, chicken and nuggets, fries. Mommy, I, want, I want the garlic naan bread. Guys, Kali says it's busting. I'm going to try it now. Oh, I need my shoes. You want a plate for yours? Leo, you can eat it. Yeah, it's good. It's good? Mm -mm. The drama. The drama. All right, guys, we got the tikka masala. This is Kali mm. on garlic naan. Me and Kyle got the same thing. Lily and her mommy got the same thing. Let me show you. Yeah, Kali said it's like eating fufu. Kali, you ever had fufu? Yeah. This is the butter chicken. So much. Yeah, it look good. And then we got the last one. You don't want no garlic, man? Yeah, must go good. It tastes good, good. And I thought you wasn't gonna like it. Hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah. But it's the whole thing with that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get the garlic. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Lily, go to try her chicken. I think we had this before now. Yeah, we had it at the place. That's like fun. How is it? Oh, not it good? No good. Mm -mm. Mm. Look at it, have it on the fro. You like it? <laughs>
Daniel, that, um, no, no, that's 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 not that's not it's, it's fine. It's okay. Oh. Me, right? Thanks. Thanks. Successful. That was so good. Oh, successful. Successful and who coin? <laughs> no, no, no. Successful and who coin? Uh, it was it was successful. My girls are successful. I was cracking that cup. This shell was honestly not crunchy. Really? Yeah. Well, now it's crunchy, but that made it harder to pack. Guys, look how much food we're doing. Now, bag. I'm not gonna try the bag. Heavy. Guys, we're being fat and we're going to a bakery right now. Oh, look, a salty vegan bag. You know, she just all picked. That's what you're doing. What you doing? What you doing? Turning. Oh. Oh. You're just swimming down and the light will turn in green. And I, I mean, turn in red. So, yeah, we're going to some place called Line Street in front of us called Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel. Alright guys, so I got something called Black Forest Cake. Looks so cute. How? Let me see. I got the pork. What you got, Lee? I got a strawberry cake What? I think it's like cream cheese and then strawberry and then the cake is at the bottom. Okay. Wow. And then you got a macaroon? Yeah. And then Cal got macaroon. Mm -hmm. You just got macaroon? Oh, I thought she got a cake. Strawberry. Mango. Blueberry. And uh, you got tiramisu? <laughs> Auntie, what did you get? I got black forest cake. Oh, so yeah. I should not get that because the price is the same. And this is a small ass piece of cake. Wow. Yeah. I don't feel like I get my bank for my book. Mm -mm. According to my calculation, No, no, because if that far long in there, me and you for three dollars, I'm gonna be transferring three dollars out your bank account. Mommy, three, three of these, three. Head to east yes. for day drive northwest. Three, two, um, head southwest. Wait, wait, I have blueberry turn. What do you have? Oh, uh, no, look, most favorite is that one. So good. Hey guys! So today we went to Charlotte Russo again. So the bag, the bag, the bag. This is gonna be a little mini haul. This is gonna be a little mini haul, and Kylie's gonna go first and show you what she got. So. Thank you so much for watching the video. Well, this clip. So, thank you so much for watching the clip. Make sure that you like, subscribe, share, comment, and just do all the things. I see you next time. Bye. Bye. I recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Ooh.
And I know your taste is a little bit mm, high maintenance food. Everybody else basic. You live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice. Poetic justice.